Hey guys, Michael Bullshad here. Um, today I'm going to start to try to add a little bit to our YouTube page. In the, in the future, we're going to try to add a little bit more videos to our YouTube page. Uh, going to give a little bit more information about our baits, how I fish them, a little bit of the differences between the two, what applications I use them, and maybe a little bait builder inside a little bit. So today I'm going to go over three different baits that look identical to each other and explain why they're different and, and why I did what I did when I made them. So we've got the four by four deep, and we got the four by four, regular four by four. We also have the weight bait. All three of these baits use the same exact profile, but I changed each one up um, internally, mostly internally. There are some physical differences between the baits um, to get them to do what, we, what I designed them to do. So what I'm going to do is start with the most common baits that we have out there, and that is the weight bait and the 4x4. As you can see, their profile is identical. The lip angle is identical. The only difference between the two is the lip shape. You can see that the 4x4 has the wider lip. The weight bait has the narrower lip. Okay? If the way to remember that is, is the 4x4 is our crank down. Okay? It dives down and goes over logs and trees. It's like a giant square bill crankbait. The weight bait strictly wakes. That's what I designed it for. I did not design it to crank down any at all. However, you can get it to crank down, but you would have to tune it possibly. But it's mainly just to wake on the top. The differences between the two is um, we use a different resin formula, actually a different resin altogether on the weight bait. It's also weighted internally differently. It has a lot less weight in the bait to ballast it than it does the 4x4. You want less weight to keep your bait on top so that it doesn't dive down. You want more weight in your 4x4 so that it dives down and gets deeper. Okay, So there's a lot of internal differences between the two. Not only the resin formula and the, and, 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 and the lip, but also the design, what it was designed to do. I designed this to crank down and one to wake. A lot of people sometimes, well, I just the bill, take the bill out of the four by four and put a wake on it. You will get a horrible wake bait. So we, if, on the black market, I see this a lot. People are buying baits that have been had the bill swapped, a four by four that sinks. I mean, a four by four that uh, that, that, that that doesn't wake, that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that you get the right one with the, that with, that the right resin formula and the right bill. Now I use the wide bill on the four x four to get a wide wobble, a thump to go down under the water and also want it to deflect over cover. That's what this thing's base shines for. I designed it to, do, to fish to the gnarliest cover you can get so that it goes over the limb just like you would a square bill. It does really, really good in, in lay downs. It does really, really good around rocks and getting out and around those tight things. I like the four x four a lot when, um, say in muddy water conditions. Number one, what happens in muddy water? Your fish get closer to cover. And also, they turn white. I like a bone white one in muddy water. Number one, I can get this thing close to the cover where they are, they can see it. Your bait fish turns white in the, in, in the muddy water as well, along with the bass. So the white mimics the fish, the, the forage very, very well. It also has a knocker system in it for even more out of noise. So this is a really a best bait that I can make as far as for our muddy water situation. It's something that you can get into the cover, bang it into the cover, wake that fish up, startle it, whatever, and make that fish react. So that is what the design of the 4x4 was. I actually made it when I was guiding a lot of times. Um, I would get a follower, if I'm in my boat, I would get a follower from a giant laydown. And then that fish would spook off and go back to the laydown. So what I did back in the day is I used to park my boat 50, 60 yards from the laydown, bushwhack a trail to the base of the tree, and fish the bait from a different angle. That's what swim bait, that's how you hunt big fish, is you come from an angle that nobody can get to that on a pressured lake that's always fished by boat from, from you know, they fish, to, they throw to the shore and bring it back out. Where I was coming from a different angle on, a, on an 18,000 acre lake, throwing out the deeper water 
bring it over those lay downs, the fish come unglued. That's how I got the design for a four by four gill. So I can, I mean, four by four, that I can bring over that cover and come from a different angle. Your angles are everything when it comes to big fish because that's, they're so used to their condition to being the bait coming one direction. It's kind of like deer hunting. You have to keep them on their toes. If they always see you come in the same way, they're gonna say, danger, danger, danger. But you can really, really get their senses messed up by coming out a different angle than they're used to. I could give you a million examples of where that is really ranked true. So keep that in mind, not only for the four by four, but for every bait that you fish. The next bait I'm gonna talk about is our wake bait. Again, same identical profile as the four x four, but a different lip. The wake bait has the narrower lip. Um, cool thing about the design on the wake baits is one thing that I learned. In our, test, our 20 of a 2200 gallon test tank behind us, I still have a lot of shad in there at times. Uh, gizzard shad, thread fin, uh, and, and, and even gills in there. Just to look and learn from from the forage that you're trying to mimic. I mean, I think you owe it to your customers to do that kind of research, to be able to study them, see how they act. And I've got some pretty cool footage that I'm gonna show you in here where I got the idea for this weight bait. But if you notice that a shot, when it dies, it comes up on the top and it has the tail. It just pokes along. It's usually near death. And I think a lot of bass know that. It's an easy meal when they see a weight bait on top just sitting there big. And that's why I put the narrow bill on this. If I put a wider bin on this, it would have a little bit wider kick. But I wanted that subtleness of a weight bait. You want to reel this thing slug. It just, and that tail just goes back and forth. I think when you see the footage, you'll say, I see what he's saying now. But that is really key with this bait is to have something that's subtle, um, but it's very, very effective because it mimics the actual action of the actual forage that you're trying to mimic when it's dying. So, uh, but anyway, this has a different resin formula. It has less weight than our four x four bait, and it's strictly designed to wake. They have the same hooks as both baits. So big hooks to go behind the bell because it deflects a little bit, a little bit smaller hooks in the back to, for added, added insurance. But the weight bait is a very, you'll see a lot of pictures on there. The guys that are really hardcore weight baits, this bait is destroyed. I mean, you can see the group marks in here. We put a lot of resin, a different resin formula in it, and, and, it, and it really helps it float really, really good. And it, it just, you can just see the, 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 the claw marks and the teeth marks on these things. Um, a lot of people that have them out there, they're really hardcore weight bait guys. Sell a lot of weight baits, but this is one of the designs that we are, I'm really proud of because it really, it really the fish, that, the forage that we have here in the tank really helps us to learn a lot more about the, uh, the, how they act and what they do. Um, in, in the real world, or just like we, we fish every day. So we don't get that, not, not people don't get the opportunity to observe shad, but just amazing what you learn um, by observing and stuff. Um, so it's really cool. So that's our weight bait that we have. Uh, it comes in two different colors. It comes in gizzard, I'm sorry, three different colors, gizzard, bone, and uh, bluegill color. Um, going to talk a little bit about a 4x4D and a regular 4x4. Um, these are a little bit different physically. Um, have a somewhat similar inner, uh, uh, in internal components, but the biggest difference, as you can tell, is the bill angle. The 4x4D has a lighter a long, or steeper angle bill than the 4x4. It also has a little bit longer bill than the 4x4 to get some extra depth out of it. But the cool thing about this is, um, if you look, the cool thing about the 4x4 deep is it has the tuning chamber, okay? You can pop the pin out. The cool thing about the tuning chamber is it allows you to customize your bait to do exactly what you need it to do, okay? If 
you need to get it deeper, you can do that. You need to go shower, you can do that. You want it to suspend, not a problem. You can do that too. You want it to rise fast after his cover, you can do that. You can make it however you want. So it gives you the ability to do that. And what you could do is you can add weight in there to make it sink or make it a heavy float, um, maybe barely float. So the, the more you barely float it, the more that it's going to dive deeper. Okay. The more you weigh, if you can also make it a countdown. The the beauty of a countdown is, is basically a countdown is a sinking crankbait. For example, you could take one bait, fish a five foot flat off this side, and begin your retrieve immediately and hit the bottom. You can fish a 15 foot flat or a 10 foot flat on this side, let it sink for a few seconds and get some extra depth and possibly hit the bottom is that as well. So that's the cool thing about a countdown is you're able to get different depths with one bait. Um, the, if you need to make it lighter, you can drill, continue drilling through this hole and you will hit the ballast and you will get a little bit of that out of there that way and you can make it a little bit lighter to make it float a little bit more once it comes up to flex off cover. Some people like to take the bait and when it hits cover to suspend. Other people like to hit the bait, hit the cover and make it rise fast. You could do both of those options depending on how you weight the bait, but you have a big tuning chamber in there that you can alter it. Um, the resin formula is very similar to the 4x4. Four four. The weighting position is different um, because you want it more head heavy um, so that it kind of goes downward at an angle like this so you can get the extra depth. Out of the box, it's probably a four foot crank uh, on a long cast, but you can make it go as deep as you want depending on how much you weight you put in the tuning chamber. I like to have baits that I can customize because it allows me to have something different that allows me to use it as a tool, you know, a specific tool for a specific situation. Um, it also very good, extremely good about going down over cover because that bell, this is a two watt hook behind there. It's a pretty big hook for the bait. That bill deflects it over the cover. Very much like you do with the four by four. And it goes really, really well around rocks. It does really, really good around lay downs and stuff, uh, but a deeper application than the four by four. But this is the, the four by four deeps are a little harder to get. They're a drop bait only at the moment. Hopefully one day we'll be able to add them to the website full time. Uh, but for right now, it's a drop bait only, but it's one of the offerings that we use. Usually if you come into our storefront or if you come into uh, one of our shows, we usually have a lot of 4x4 deeps on hand. So, but that's a little bit about the comparisons between the 4x4 deep and the actual 4x4. I hope you've enjoyed this video.